Okay, that is manage mode. Now we move on to open climb. What is open climb? Like the name suggests, the aircraft is just climbing without a care in the world. So all constraints will be ignored. It is like telling your wife or girlfriend to go shopping using your credit card that has no limit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel Captain SQ where we're going to discuss on Airbus systems, emergency procedures and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. Welcome to A320 Flying My Aeroplane Nope, Flight Mode Annunciators Question is, what is FMA? FMA is basically an ever-changing billboard telling us pilots what the aircraft is doing. It is located on the top of the PFD and when we make any changes, we have to read the FMA. Let us dive into each of the columns. There are five columns in total. Column 1 gives us auto thrust modes. For the A321, it will show us the auto brake modes. Column 2 gives us the vertical modes. Column 3 gives us the lateral modes. Column 4 gives us the approach capabilities. And finally, column 5 gives us autopilot flight director and auto trust engagement status. Let us have a look at all the colors. If it's in green, it means that it is active. Blue means the function is armed and ready to go. Just like an engagement party, white means it is engaged. And if it is magenta, it is indicating a restriction. Let us talk about boxes. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? A white box is to highlight to us when we make a new selection, and it normally comes on after a few seconds. Triple click indicates a change in the approach capability or mode reversion change. Now, let me take you on a journey. Come on and hop on. Okay, let us start with the ground. Climb Blue and Nav Blue tells us that the auto flight system is armed to follow the vertical and lateral navigation after takeoff. If you want a heading mode, then yes, Nav will not show up. Over here, it shows us one FD2 indicating flight directors 1 and flight directors 2. Okay, let us get out of this place. Takeoff time. When the pilot flying select takeoff thrust, the FMA displays other modes that are active and armed. Manflex Plus 69 is the takeoff thrust setting that is entered into the MCDU. Put the thrust levers on the Flex MCT D10. If the pilot flying select the Toga D10, then yes, Toga will be shown on the FMA. Runway will give centerline guidance on the runway through the yaw bar if an ILS is available. If there is no ILS available, then it will be blank. If you select heading beforehand, heading will be armed in blue. SRS is telling us that the aircraft will follow a pitch attitude to maintain a speed of V2 to V2 plus 10 knots once airborne. Auto thrust in blue indicates that the auto thrust is armed. Once we get airborne, runway changes to NAV after liftoff to show that the aircraft is following whatever we have programmed in the FMGC. Basically, you are flying in manage mode. If you select heading before you take off, then the aircraft will follow runway track until you pull the heading knob on the FCU. Then you will get the heading you want. One FD2 indicates that FD1 is following orders from FMGS1 and FD2 is following orders from FMGC2. If you press Autopilot 1, then you are telling the aircraft to follow orders from FMGC1. At thrust reduction altitude, you get a flashing liver climb to nudge the pilot flying to select climb thrust. Select climb D10 and you will get a thrust climb on your FMA. 
you will then activate the Auto Trust. At Acceleration Altitude, SRS will change to Climb Mode. At Acceleration Altitude, the aircraft accelerates to 250 knots below 10,000 feet or to whatever speed you pre-selected beforehand. Maybe you're using OptiClimb speeds. Here, you can start retracting your flaps. Aircraft will climb in manage mode and will comply with any constraints that you set in the FMGC. Above 10,000 feet, the FMGC will give you maximum climb thrust and then that fellow will change the pitch so that you can maintain the target econ climb speed. Let us move on to climb. Whatever you set on the FCU, the aircraft will climb to that altitude. If it is on managed climb, then yes, all constraints will be complied. The aircraft will continue to climb to a selected altitude as set on the FCU and displayed on the PFD. Constraint will put the AWP in magenta color. As the aircraft approaches the altitude constraint, climb changes to altitude constraint star. All constraint star is a smart function that allows a smooth change from climbing to leveling off. The aircraft will adjust the pitch and thrust accordingly. The auto thrust will change to speed, indicating that the thrust is being controlled to maintain speed. All constraint in green indicates that the auto flight system is maintaining the constraint altitude. When out of constraint altitude conditions, vertical navigation will resume climbing to the FCU selected altitude. Alt star is an altitude capture function that allows a smooth change from climbing to leveling off. Reducing the pitch and thrust of the aircraft achieves this reduction in vertical speed. Alt then shows that we are maintaining that altitude. Okay, that is managed mode. Now we move on to open climb. What is open climb? Like the name suggests, the aircraft is just climbing without a care in the world. So all constraints will be ignored. It is like telling your wife or girlfriend to go shopping using your credit card that has no limit. Anyway, if you pull this altitude knob, you will get open climb. What happens when you press this expedite button? How will the aircraft react? Well, if you know the answer, do comment below. Okay, cruising now. On reaching cruise altitude, the FMGC will select the mark or speed for you. You get your alt cruise on the FMA. Alt cruise is a soft altitude mode. What is a soft altitude mode? A mode that is not hard? Well, do comment below if you know the answer. Let's talk about selected navigation. Let's say you are on nav and you want to deviate from your planned route. Just simply select heading and you will get the heading you want. Then to get back to nav, just press direct to the next waypoint. Or if you want to join the route back, press the heading knob and nav will be in blue. Make sure your heading will intercept the flight plan route. Okay, descent time. Example, ATC asks you to descend to flight level 200. Just select flight level 200 and push the altitude knob for manage descent. Remember, push to manage, pull for selected mode. Just think of a pushy manager. So push equals manage mode. It's good to manage the descent because the computers will give you an optimum descent point and speed to maintain idle thrust until 1000 feet AAL. If you descend too early in manage mode, then the aircraft will descend 1,000 feet per minute until you get back your profile. Now, open descent. Open means anything goes. The aircraft will just descend without any regard to constraints and optimum descent profile. The aircraft will be on trust idle all the way. Question, have you guys ever tried pressing the expedite button for descent before? Do you know what will happen? Well, do comment below if you know the answer. Okay, some refresher on ILS approach. Press this approach button and lock and GS modes are armed. Whatever decision height you entered will be displayed here. Lock star indicates that the aircraft is capturing the localizer. This will stop the aircraft from overshooting the localizer by adjusting the turn rate. 
normally we press both autopilots on to get cat 3 dual capability lock means that the aircraft is following the localizer signal gs star indicates that the aircraft is capturing the glide slope remember that gs star cannot engage unless lock star or lock are active gs means the aircraft is on the glide land mode will show up before 400 feet ra what is the significance of land mode well do comment below your answer with land engaged, the only way to discontinue the approach is to go around or switch off the autopilots. Once the aircraft passes 50 feet RA, flare mode will show up and the THS is frozen. The aircraft then memorizes the attitude at 50 feet, and this becomes the initial reference for pitch control. As the aircraft passes 30 feet, the system will reduce the pitch attitude to minus 2 degrees nose down over a period of 8 seconds. So we guys need to pitch up and flare the aircraft at this point. When we select idle power, we are switching off the auto thrust. Rollout mode then comes into play and steers the aircraft along the localizer signal if autopilot is still on. Okay, now is the time for non-precision approach. If we are going to do a managed non-precision approach, then the aircraft is basically taking guidance from the FMGC database. Press this approach push button and final and approach nav is on. Final in blue means aircraft will descend at final descent point or at vertical interception point VIP for our NAV approaches. Approach NAV means that the aircraft will follow final approach track. Basically, both of this is with regards to the lateral and vertical path of the aircraft. Final approach shows that the aircraft is on the inbound track and descending at the final descent point to the MDA. At decision height, disconnect autopilot for landing appears. Disconnect and land. FMA will show heading vert speed or track FPA depending on what you have selected. Let us talk about go around. When you select toga, go around phase is activated. Aircraft will follow go around track and then goes to nav if it is in the database. The auto trust goes from active to arm. You will get autopilot 1 as your boss. Autopilot 2 will disengage. This temporarily downgrades the approach capability. When the system realizes that no approach is being made, then it removes the approach capability. It normally happens within a few seconds. The aircraft will maintain the speed at which the go around was initiated or V approach, whichever is higher. If you remember from the previous videos, speed target is limited to VLS plus 25 for two engines or VLS plus 15 knots for single engine. At thrust reduction altitude, liver climb flashes and we set to climb thrust. The auto thrust now becomes alive and active again. At acceleration altitude, the vertical mode changes from SRS to open climb. We can select climb mode by pushing the altitude knob on the FCU. Some bonus content here, let us talk about track FPA, the bird. This is computed by the IRS to correct for wind and we normally use this for NPA, non-precision approach. See what happens when we press this. You can see that we no longer have FDs and we have this kind of whiskers over here which is the flight path vector indications. So if we want to change the track then select the heading knob and if we want to control the vertical part then just bug the vert speed knob. Every 1 degree equals to 100 feet per 1 nautical mile.